you know, I wanted to start this program because you know it means a lot just to be able to help single mothers. Uh, single mothers are pouring a lot into their children, so if they could find help any way that they could, me and my family are always looking for ways to, to give to them and help them out. It's been hard with all three children. I'm a single mother, I'm 24 years of age. Um, they go to daycare while I work, and outside of that, we've just been tugging it out. The Kayla had a bunch of. of challenges around housing, things that fell through. There was a time that she was nearly homeless. She's just doing so well with her children, but she doesn't have this kind of things. She doesn't have toys. She likes to read to them, but they don't have books. And so to have these things be given to her and have all of this support from Minka and his mom and sharing their connection, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. To me, this meant I have some backup, like I have some support. It's just heartwarming to see people that you don't normally see on the day to day help out you and your children. What's really incredible about this Dream Builders Fund that Minka has is that he is targeting uh, people like Tequila, young moms who are no longer involved with the system. It's easy to think about things for abused and neglected kids, but for kids who are coming out of foster care who were abused and neglected and are now parents on their own and trying to break that cycle of abuse, to have this kind of support doesn't exist anywhere else. It was awesome coming out here and being able to help Tequila. You know, just show her kids some love, some support. Give her a break, let her just sit back, relax, and watch her kids smile, ride around the bike, play the basketball. And it's an awesome feeling uh, knowing that you're putting smiles on kids' faces. Yes, this was this was nice. This was very. I'm nice. about you on it.